Good day class. I'm Shola Doyafis and our today's topic is Elastic Properties of Solid. After the, today's class, students should be able to know should, should know what elasticity is. They should be able to state Hooke's law and derive the expression for Hooke's law. They should be able to design tensile stress, strain and young modulus and they should be able to describe elastic energy and calculate all the aforementioned parameters. Now, let's start with the introduction. Sometime, you know when you want to when you when you apply a force to a stretchable material like a wire or a, a rubber, it reaches a certain point whereby when you re, re, when you remove the, the the force you are applying on the on the material the, that material will be able to go back to their original position the ability of this material bit of being of this material to return back to their original position after you've removed the 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 forming force is what they known as elasticity and the now elasticity is the property of solid material to return to their original position or shape or size after force deforming them have been removed we also have something they call it stress stress is defined as force over area of the surface on which the force is being acted and it is measured in pascal and one pascal is equivalent to newton per meter squared and strain strain is change in dimension over original dimension that is if you are using length it should be changing length over original length so now we have something they call it elastic limit elastic limit of the body is the smallest stress that will produce a permanent distortion in the body that is it, it, it is this it is, it is it is the force that we apply to a body that will make the body to be permanently deformed the situation whereby the body will not be able to return back to its original position is known as the elastic limits and young modulus is the ratio of stress to strain now since young modulus is stress to strain and we have you know that our strain is did not have units automatically the unit for our young modulus is stress and a large modulus means that a large stress is required to produce a given strain if you check this this diagram you see this diagram it, the graph is plotted stress is plotted against strain and it explains when a body undergo deformation or stress and on this graph we have like five points we have point a we have point b we have point c we have point e and point f and all these points they have specific meaning for the first point which is point a it is the limit of proportionality up to which stress and strain are proportional to each other and point b is the elastic limit and at the at this point any point below the point b the body will be able to return back to the original position but any point above the elastic limit the body will not be able to return to the original position and point c is known as the yield point and the yield point is the point when reached will result in permanent deformation of an arbitrarily defined amount of strain when the stress is removed that is at point c when the material reaches point c it will not be able to return back to the original position they've reached the permanent deformation points and our point e is the onset of necking whereby we have reduction in our cross sectional area and our point f is the breaking point anybody that reaches point f you know when it is at point c it will still be that material the, the, the material will still be intact but it will not be able to return back to its original position but when it reaches point f it breaks off so it will not be able to return back to its original position and it will not be able to you there's no force that you will apply on it the force will not be able to the, the body will not be able to retain retain their what their, their their shape again so automatically when you apply any force beyond point f the body will what we just break off Oak's law now the Hooke's law can be stated in different forms. We can state Hooke's law using different forms. One of the forms is that Hooke's law states that 
The force used in stretching an elastic material is directly proportional to the extension. Or, the law states that strain of the material is proportional to the applied stress. So, F directly proportional to X, which is the, which is the uh, extension, and F is equal to K, X. We introduce the proportionality, con proportionality constant. So, our F is the force, our K is the pro pro proportionality constant, they call it the spring constant, and our X is the extension or the length. Also, we have something they call it elastic energy. Elastic energy is the a mechanical potential energy stored in a configuration of a material or physical system as it is subjected to elastic deformation by work performed on it. So the formula for elastic energy is half k change in x square. Our change in x is the what? Is, is, is the change in the dimension, dimension. That is the original length. The final length minus the initial length. So let's solve some example now. Question 1 states that a, a, a metal wire 75 cm long and 0 0.130 cm in diameter stretches 0 0.0350 cm when a load of 8.0 kg is hung on its end. Find the stress, the strain, and the young modulus for the material. We are given the original length to be 75 cm, the diameter to be 0 0.130 cm, our radius. And from we know that they are given the diameter. But don't forget that our radius is equal to diameter, half of diameter. So if you want to calculate the radius now, our radius will be diameter divided by 2, which will give us 6.5 times 10 to the power minus 4 if you convert it to meters. Don't forget, anything you are given in centimeter, you convert them back to meters. And our extension, they've given us that the, the extension stretches. Extension is 0 0.0350 centimeter, and our mass is 8 kilograms. And our relation due to gravity is 9.81 uh, meter per second scale. Now, from our stress is equal to force of our area. We are given the mass, we are given the acceleration due to gravity, we are not given the our area. But our area, area can be calculated using pile R squared. Pile R squared. So 8 multiplied by 9.81, which is the G, into pile, we, we got in our half square, is equal to, if you punch your calculator very well, you have your answer to be 5.9 times 10 to the power 7 Newton per meter square, which is also Pascal. Now, when our string is Change in length over original length. Our extension is our change in length. Our original length, we've known it before. Is there, if you punch your calculator, your answer will be 4.67 times 10 to the power minus 4. It's not having any units. And our young modulus is stress over strain. Our stress is 5.9 times 10 to the power 7. Our, 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 our stress, our strain, is, our stress is that, and our strain is uh, 4.67. 6 times 10 to the power minus 4. So if you punch your calculator, our answer will be 1.24 times 10 to the power 11 Pascal. So you are done with the first question now. So if you want to if you want to convert it to giga, it will be. You know our giga is ten to the power one, ten to the power. Uh, what is it called? What is our giga? Our giga will be ten to the power thirteen. So that's why we have one two seven giga pascal. So our second question states that a wire of length. A wire of length. Seventy four point nine five centimeter is stretched to a new length. Our original, our initial length, and our new length. A mass, the mass is 8 kg, and the cross section area, we are given the cross section area here. Find the stress, the strain, the elastic energy of the material. So we are given our what? We are given our original length to be 74.95 cm. We are given our new length to be 75.4 cm. We are given our mass, and we are given our area. So if you want to get the extension, it will be final length minus the original length, which is equal to 0.45 cm. So our stress is force over area. As we've calculated before, our force will be mass times acceleration due to gravity. Our mass is 8, our acceleration due to, gra due to gravity is 9.81, divided by 25 times 10 to the power minus 4. How to get our 25, we are give they've given us our area. So if you punch your calculator, your stress will now be 3.31360 Pascal. If you want to convert it to kilopascal, so it's 3.31.36 kilopascal. And our words, what again are we asking?